888-742-3345. Lord Sears in New York and Rude Judas in L.A. with special guests. We got Haley Quinn here. Hey. She is an author, a vlogger, hey. a speaker, all on hey. dating. Hey. For to help us learn how to date better. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that, but I'll give it a shot. We'll talk a bit about love. I have to say, I'm saying this, and I am like a single woman. So I don't come with a face of like, I'm going to help you out with dating because I am married, got it sorted out, but I can talk to you about it. Sometimes like it's easy to help coach other people and you're a fuck up yourself. That's okay. That's kind of my thing. I go like, look, this is the many incredible ways I fucked up. Don't do that. And that's, you're, uh, you're single. You know, you should, single. You're, you're easy on the eyes. What's your problem? Right, well, you know what? I did six months no dating, and now I'm looking for a very particular kind of What are you person. looking for? Right. I'm looking for someone who's got some morals, who's got some integrity, not morals in a traditional church-going sense, but, like, you know, has the strength to own their decisions, knows who they are, has mm. integrity, does what they do, does what they say. Are you looking Talk. for someone Talk. fat? Talk. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about type 2 diabetes? Oh. Yeah. Is that sexy? Does that do, is that the one where you can or can't eat donuts? <laughs> <laughs> you can always eat donuts. All it's right. just like, what are you willing to pay for right. those donuts? Okay. Hey, are you looking for no, transgesters uh, like men who just cut off their dick? I kind of like. I want like a. I want a traditional dude. You oh. so you don't want somebody without it. You don't want a donut. You want or what is it called? Where they oh scissor scissoring? Yeah, yeah, you did the hand gesture uh, really good though. Thanks. Yeah, I, I did the hand gesture on the air. She figured it out for me. All right, so That's you good, you Caitlin. went. You went without uh, fucking nobody or nothing for six months. Mm -hmm. What? I was telling you off the air. Yeah, I what? did that six months. It was the hardest mental challenge. Are you fucking... Yeah. Yeah. D <sighs> I imagine it's boring Yo. for a little bit. You know what? I went, oh my God, there's so many hobbies I never knew existed before I gave up dating. <laughs> like, so what did you do? Start cooking? I did. I didn't, I didn't used to cook before. I used to just eat, like, take out and order it from my Uber. And I was like, I was sitting at home. I was like living, listening to French music, cooking chicken soup, going, this, I don't believe this is my life. <laughs> was it fun? I wouldn't say fun would be the right word. It was different. It was good, though, to confront. I think it's cool to confront being alone and not have to always be out with someone different because you can't like, sit there by yourself. You, yeah, because you don't like your own company. Right, exactly. I think it's good to like uh -huh. your own company. So do you like your own company now? I do, yeah. How long did it take to like your own company? Uh, I always like me, but it took a long time to not want to be like thinking like, oh, I have to go out to that party or I should be going out with this person or if I don't have a wild sex story this week, there's something wrong with me. You feel you like know? you were chasing the dragon or some shit like that. You was always was, chasing a little thrill. I was I was chasing and I was running away from a big, big dragon in the past, what you know? It? You want to talk to me about it? What was oh, it? Should we have a thing? I don't know. What was it? You well... can trust me. <laughs> you can trust me. It's just us two. Is it really? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, you know, I just had all the normal stuff. I was very poor growing up. Both my parents are disabled. You know, I've had... A, and also... Wait, well, both your parents are disabled? Uh -huh. How the fuck did that happen? I know, right. So my mom, she... And this is not. This is a sad story. My mom had a... Why did I want to laugh? I know. Then? I was like, you're meant to be, meant to be having a therapy session. It's <laughs> right. not working out. I don't mean to laugh at your disabled parents, but just when British people say disabled, is funny to me. Really? Yeah. So you, the acts, does it make everything I'm funny? I'm disabled. Yeah, it makes me think of the IT <laughs> crowd. sound like a child. Charles Dickens, Victorian, we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want some pudding. I'm disabled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean nothing by it. All right, so both of your parents was disabled. Uh -huh. They got together. No, they weren't disabled oh. at the beginning. Oh, my mom was my mom was disabled. Oh, this is how I shouldn't be saying this. My oh. mom was disabled. My like my dad cheated on her when she was disabled. She says she cursed him. No joke. Within a year, he developed spinal cancer. Ends up disabled as well. He can't work. We lose our home. I'm homeless. I'm like 13. Work as a dishwasher. Damn. Trekking around the place, Damn. trying to make it work out. So I think all of that, I felt uncomfortable. I was like, I was so awkward, so poor, so shy. Did your mom? Really did your good. mom regret cursing him after yeah, the fact? Yeah, like yeah. she kind of fucked. But up this is like, the, this is like, do not, you know, no, no, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, right? So. No, this is true, but there's also another lesson learned. Don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Right, I think there's a good thing about. <laughs> well, I think forgiveness is important. Forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves, and right. it, it's a cliche, but it really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. You you got to forgive so that you can move on. Right, exactly. It's not even about them. All right, so let's. You're uh, you're here to help people with some dating advice. Yeah. Is that is that it? Is that so? Uh, I guess so. It's more like life advice, but I look at like love and dating and relationships is my thing that I find myself talking about the most. All right, so yesterday I went on a date and um, I accidentally, well, I, I, on purpose, okay, drank some GHB, but I accidentally <laughs> drank too much GHB. Oh. 
and didn't realize that she was in AA. So it made for a really awkward time. What could right. I have done better? You know what? I would, apart from not drinking that stuff, if you're in a trouble like that, um, you don't. That's not going to happen. I'm going to drink it. Okay, so. okay. Well, I would say acknowledgement is good. You know, it's good to just hold your hands up and say, look, this was probably an error. I shouldn't have probably did that. But here's what happened. You know, and actually transparency creates trust and that will make people like you. That's oh. exactly what I did. Except for I, I did kind of lie, but it was transparency. Was it a transparent lie? It was like, <laughs> I said, oh, I would had already drank it before I knew we was hanging out. Oh, my God. I just I, would, I, t- I went on a I went on a date before this happened over the summer, before I took my time out. Guy turns up and he, he said he was on acid. And that was the new one on acid. And it was like, yo, Tuesday- he picked you up on acid. He was on acid. It was Tuesday night. I was like, what the <laughs> f- is going on? All right, see, that's a little bit wilder than that. How yeah. long did your How long did your date last? Not all that long because he's the wall. The walls started to take on different forms and shapes for him. So I was like, okay, this is too weird. That was a step. I'm a liberal person, but that was a step too weird for me. All right, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Uh, Haley Quinn is here, and she's here to help Haley? you with your life. He sounds you hot. just did a TED talk. You're like a fucking genius. I think you're the first TED talk motherfucker we ever had on here. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. TTMFs, as we like to call them. <laughs> <laughs> TED talk motherfucker. All right. That's I kind of like that as a yeah. title. Yeah, yeah. More upright in my chair. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have, take some pride in that shit. <laughs> take some pride. So uh, maybe, maybe what we could do to help me with this dating thing is maybe you could go out with me, right? Okay, and so then, it's like a, a, a practice. Yeah, and then you should tell me what I'm doing right oh, and wrong. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I paid for the meal. That was that was classy, right? Oh, th- did you? Did you go out for dinner as a first date? No, second date. Oh, okay. Second date. And we had been talking on the phone and shit. First date, usually I do something non-committal, yes. like coffee. Casual. That way, if it sucks, we could get the fuck away and from And that's what another. everyone wants, right? <laughs> no one wants to sit down on a long dinner with someone. They walk in the room and go, oh, no. It's tough, too, because like you, you grow up certain ways where you're like, uh, you know, you're supposed to go pick up the girl or sh- something like that. Mm-hmm. But chicks, out of safety, they don't want you coming by right. their house sweeping right. them up. <laughs> Right. Like, oh, we, I, don't, I don't know this dude. I don't want him to know where the fuck I live. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's it's weird trying to adjust to that. And, uh, and like, chicks don't like to talk on the phone anymore, so you always got to text yeah, them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, you know, I have to say, I love a guy. If he rings me, like, maybe it's because I'm a bit older. I'm like, oh, my God, he's wrong me. He's so masculine. He's manly. He knows what he wants. I think it's hot. I'll be ringing. I'll be okay. ringing these. I'll be ringing these well, broads. Good. Ringing the fuck out of them. <laughs> Put uh, with the bell, all that shit. I like to hey, take. Yeah, I, like What's to take that? I like to take chicks out to eat. You know, I'm like an eating mm-hmm. person. I like food and you know before like 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 while dating. You know, like say like we get it in and we're like, oh, let's go to um, let's go get pizza. Like, you know, or lunch. You think that's cool? Right. To buy them food all the time. Or? Do you, do you always buy them for food though? What uh, do you do when well, the bill comes? Well, sometimes yeah, the bill I might pay if I want to pay, if I feel like paying. You know, and that's that's you know sometimes. I, I think that I think the rule is if you invite them out and you say this is where we're going, as the guy, if it's early on in the the stages of meeting them, then there's an expectation. Oh. It's like if I invited somebody out to dinner, right. but I would think well, I was gonna. Pay. Oh, but what I'm saying, oh, like like look, you know, I live alone and I don't know how to cook. And if I tell the chick, yeah. you know, I'm hungry, you'll come the fuck over and cook for me. You know, like that's like to me, that's a date. You know? Well, I think the fact that you said it in a command to a lot of women, that's gonna be hot. Right? Yeah. I hate to say that. Yeah, yeah. Commands are pretty sexy. Yeah, come on. You, if it was me, though, you couldn't do it because I'm a terrible cook. So you'd have to get my chicken oh, soup, on. which is the worst. Chicken soup is delicious. What are you talking about? It's oh, so okay. Good. Well, my chicken soup has a consistency. This is very English sounding of porridge. I haven't got it right yet. It's like too <laughs> thick at the moment. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to a Charles Dickens novel across, <laughs> across here from me. Hello. It tastes like porridge. <laughs> hey, today's 7 4 2 3 3 4 5. We got little yeah, folks yeah. in Indiana. Yeah. Hello? Little folks. Yeah. What up, though? Go ahead, man. You got Haley Quinn yeah. here. She's a, she's a Yeah, man. Person. I was just wondering what you in a cheating relationship, man. And you trying to rebuild a cheating relationship. What did you do? All right, so he, he did, could you hear him? Mm-mm. All right, I'm going to be here. I'll, I'll be the translator. Yeah, yeah. What he said is, like, what do you do if if you're in a cheating relationship? 
and you're trying to rebuild it and rebuild that trust, what are some of the things one can do? Okay, here's what I think you should do. Mm. First of all, I should think you should need, you need to lay all your cards out on the table. Have one, one only conversation, which is like you get the slate clean. Because otherwise, if you pretend and you don't quite say it all... I think women particularly, if there's been infidelity in the relationship, they will catch you out later on. So I think just get it all out there. And then, you know what, have a rule, which is like, we've spoken about it. It's done. It's in the past. New day, new era. And then do things to like symbolize the fact that this is a new time in your life, whether that's like booking a holiday to go somewhere, redecorating something. Don't have a baby. <laughs> baby. No. Save the don't, relationship. Oh, with don't do a save the relationship. No, nothing like that. And also, you know what? You need to find out who you are as individuals. So I'd actually say take it slow. Maybe like a know. threesome to ah, help. To help with okay. the reconnection. To build to that the, bridge of Well, trust. you know what? This is a bad thing to say, but they have these. They, they say that cheating is like this. You'll love this. The three-legged stool <laughs> approach to the relationship, which is like you're getting like 80% of your needs from your boyfriend or your girlfriend. So you have to go and get the other 20% from somewhere, from else. somewhere else. And it actually... If you are the 20% person, it helps keep the relationship alive because you're giving them that extra bit that they need. It's funny. It's, uh, you know, I know a lot of motherfuckers that have cheated, both men and women, and they step out and it just makes them appreciate what they have at home even more. Right. And perhaps they wouldn't have appreciated that person without the cheating. It's kind of weird. So just because it's cheating doesn't necessarily it's going to be bad for the relationship if, if you don't tell. <laughs> you can't come home and be like, you know what, man? Like, I fucked this broad at, at TGI Fridays, and like, oh. her pussy made me think that your pussy was so much better. Or... Right, but that's the problem with our culture, right? We think always the grass is greener. You know, I think sometimes it's good to stand by your decisions, though. We've all cheated, and everyone cheats. Have you ever cheated? I have cheated, yeah. What made you cheat? Uh, truthfully, it was because I, I wasn't having enough sex in the relationship. How many times were you sleeping with him? Not, okay, I'm not kidding. This guy went on sex strike. Sex strike. Why did he? Why did he? What? Why did he hold the dick off? For well, me? I, well, it's, it's a con funnily enough, it's a control thing. Usually, if someone withholds sex, whether it's a guy or a girl, it's about control and power in the That's relationship. Right. It's not actually about sex. But this I, is true. Yeah. But how, why? Why did he do it? I think I don't know. I think there was something about. I'm kind of a strong woman. I think there was something about crushing my he was ego. He's just trying to break it there. down. He's trying to break my ego. Yeah. And what did you do? You went and got some dick on the side. Glad <laughs> <laughs> that was in my bad past, though. I am now reformed. How long? How long? How long did you handle the sex strike before you was like, you know what? Fuck this! I'm getting some dick. You know yeah. what? It does, I didn't intend. I didn't intend to go out and meet somebody else. It's just someone. Some Quit other guy. Him, please. I some want other a guy hit on me, and you know what? In England, guys do not chat women up. It's a big problem. So if you're For not what? really, so if you're not getting anywhere with <laughs> in America, go to England. The women are dying to be. Well, they like up. our accent. Too? Oh yeah, but don't oh, they have yellow know. teeth? Yeah, what's up with them teeth over there? I know. Man? Okay, I think they're all right. Look, Yo, your teeth are really good. Actually, yeah. you're fucking awesome. Yeah. You got great you go. teeth. Thank you. What you doing later? <laughs> Practice never, date? I'll never keep this dick away from you, girl. <laughs> never. Let's go to Jay. And you know what? That's what pimps do. You know, they won't, they won't fuck their girls to, like, keep them in check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay and Winston. What's going on? Go what ahead. Up? You got Haley Quinn here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't call because it's Saturday night, right? I go out to this party, and my uh, my my boy's girlfriend brings out some of her friends. So I like one of these girls. I start hooking up with her. Yeah, I go out for a cigarette break. I come right back out, and this bitch is hooking up with my roommate. But then I'm hooking up with her again later that night. So we wake up in the morning wasted, and I'm like, how do I deal with this nigga? How do I sit here with somebody I know, and we're sitting here fucking the same girl? Did you guys both fuck her, or did you just make out with her? He was making out there. I fucked her, nigga. I got to finish. You know how it is. <laughs> so what's the problem? That's all right. But, you, you, you know, I don't know if they fucked really. Why are you all emotional about this shit? I, that's what I'm saying, yo. I don't okay, know what, Haley, what do. you want to say. Them, Look, it's, it sounds to me like this girl <laughs> went out in a frame of mind where she wanted to meet someone. You know, maybe yeah. some drinks and some alcohol was consumed. You leave. She meets your your friend. But she ultimately chose to go home with you and I'd say this is this would be a maybe a question mark if you're really interested in her like you wanted to make her your girlfriend but if it's just a if it's just a hookup thing yeah that's all right it's, yeah if you're gonna be like doing the hookup shit you can't be all emotional emotional all right to him yeah you can't you be the bitch in a relationship I'm emotional bro I know right you like you gave me the pussy but I thought I thought I was special <laughs> like motherfucker you fucking the first night out you fucking weirdo I'm special oh Jesus nah I ain't talking about no girlfriend come on dog 
You know, you know how it is. Talking about yeah, how yeah, to fuck. Yeah. How you gonna fuck Charles? You know I love you. Right. You wrong. All right, all right. That motherfucker still owe me last month rent. How you gonna do me like that? <laughs> you can't hug me. <laughs> Let's go to Chandra in Houston. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, Jude? Go ahead. What's up? You, you got Haley oh, Quinn here. It's, it's, hey, yeah. it's weird that you. Hey, it's weird that you just said that shit because I was just cheated on and it actually made me appreciate the relationship more. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, why, how so? but because I kind of was thought I was didn't want to be with him, and when I found out mm-hmm. that he was fucking somebody else, it did. It really made me say, <laughs> "Man, I want to be with that. I still want to be with the dude." It did. I don't know. That shit is weird. Just like you just said, weird. That shit is weird. I never thought I would be that girl. But apparently right. I am that girl. Shit, I don't know why it's like that, but I really appreciate him more. For going Do you feel like you wasn't trying that hard? Like, and he just stepped out on you? Was like you were getting bored with it? Actually, uh, I kind of cut back on the sex because he's very high. Oh. He likes to fuck mm. two and three times a day. Good. Damn. When, mm. when they say everything in Texas is big, the shit is big, and don't nobody want that <laughs> two or three times a day like that. So, oh, his yeah. dick was his his dick is too big for it's just a lot it's a lot for you to have to take over and over yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. So oh. I was like, yeah, baby, yeah. He, I think he needed to go and pile somebody else out for a minute. He did the shit for yeah. a year. The bitch, yeah, the bitch told me it's been a year. He's been pounding her out. So damn. But, <laughs> so, so like you know, no gay shit, but like, how big's your man's dick? Like, what's it smell <laughs> like? Oh my god, about twelve. What? <laughs> Chandra, you poor what thing. <laughs> you poor High quality thing. problems. Jude, you know it's me. Me and my daughter, we met you in Houston. Uh, oh, what's up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, your so, daughter's, yeah. Your daughter, tell your daughter I said hello. If she wants half of that 12, tell her come holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> my shit is 12, too, if you measure it there and back, girl. You there? Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello, Chandra. <laughs> I love Chandra. I do too. Yo, uh, fucking a twelve inch dick twice a day—that's a lot to take, man. <laughs> you know what? It's, there is a there's a biology there though, which is that if a relationship is threatened or you have an argue, you know, like makeup sex, you fight, you want to have sex. Same thing. The relationship's threatened. You uh, hormones release a bonding hormone that makes you want to reconnect with your partner. So, th- so makeup sex. There's science behind there the is, passion. Break there, that down for me. Explain it to there me. Is like, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. I'll say it in my like non scientist. You did a fucking terms. TED talk. Wait hey, well, minute, not, come not on. in that, not in biology. Basically, you fight, you're like, oh, I hate this person. Then hormones are released, those things in the body that make you go, I need to rebond to this person. I need to reconnect, which is why you stay in relationships that are so bad for so long. Because that makeup sex be... St- it's pretty good. <laughs> Me and my ex. Or breakup have, sex. Oh. I think breakup sex is even better than makeup sex. The problem with breakup sex is they leave afterwards and you be feeling fucked up, man. It's like breaking <laughs> up all over again. You're like, all right, well... Ha- have a good one, you know. I'll like, that I'll... was the best sex we ever had. Why wouldn't you like that for the past three years of the relationship? But now you release the good sex on me now. Yeah, I, that's it. You, I feel like you can relate what? to that. Right, let's, yeah, let's get this last one right here. We got <sighs> Haley Quinn here. Hey, Carol, what's up? What's up? Go ahead. Hello. Well, I'm calling on. because I'm going through the same thing, but I have not cheated yet. But I have met a white guy. And yeah, it's like, he dip. showed me much attention than my boyfriend. You know, like, mm. it's, it's crazy. It, it just don't make sense to me. Like, he just, oh, I love you. You are so nice and mm. sweet. But on the other hand, I'm in love with somebody else. And my boyfriend just be like, see you later. Bye. Have a nice day at work. And, you know, but this other guy be like, I just truly adore you. And I'll support you with anything you need. It just makes me want to fuck him off rip because <laughs> how will he talk to me? Like. Shit. Like I just feel like I need more attention. Mm. Mm. How does she? How does she tackle that, Haley? Right. First of all, I'd like to say there is a thing when you've been in a relationship for a long time that your boyfriend starts to look at you like you're a toaster or something like that. You know, yeah. some inanimate and objects. I'm, he doesn't I'm see a, you as I a woman. I myself a bad bitch, but I'm a good-looking woman. So that that's what kind of 
pick me the fuck off. Like, how the fuck you, sound, you, right. you sound like me? a very bad bitch. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. The thing is, with this other guy, though, right now, he's he's pursuing you. There is nothing to say he will probably swap around, you know, if he gets you. So what I would say is I think it's if your boyfriend is not satisfying you, he's not the right guy, I would exit that relationship, be single for a while, enjoy all the attention, then pick someone really amazing. Have you ever fucked a white dude attention. before? Have you ever no, I have not. I we have try not. really hard. We try real hard in the pussy. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Huh. Well, the way Boy, you yeah. eat your butt on the first date, girl. girl before, and he was like, he loved the way black girls taste. And I'm yeah. just like, well, damn. You know, and he's like this little nerdy looking dude. And I usually don't go for motherfuckers like that, but. Always the, the quiet talking, ones. He, oh, yeah, I guess so. He just make me want to mm-hmm. fuck the shit out of him. Why don't you see what he's working with? But then see I'm going to be cheating and see shit. See that pink like, back. All right. I'll just be thinking of karma and shit like that. That's all. Yeah, stick with a good, yeah. keep good karma. And go to church. I don't nigga. believe in karma. Well, I do, so. I do, karma too. Shmarma. I believe in karma, too, because shit, this nigga. Look, here's your karma. I think you should always want to walk away from a relationship feeling like the good person, though, there right? There you go, but you like. Know, clean conscience. The karma would be this. You feel bad for fucking somebody over. That's your karma. Mm. I don't think, you're not going to, nothing's going to boomerang. It's your own feelings and yourself you got to live with. That is the karma. And that's but that is the worst. Yeah. That's it the is. worst thing to live with. Well, that's not karma. That's just like your conscience <laughs> feeling like conscience, shit. Conscience, karma. <laughs> no, karma's like, oh, if you steal my bike, then someone's going to steal your bike. It just doesn't happen that way. Look it's at like, bankers. They're like, doing pretty good. Like Eminem and Dre, guilty conscience. Do, 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 do. That's my song. You sound like a bad bitch, though, so you don't deserve this in your life. Yeah. You there? No, I don't. And my, it ain't like my man dick is huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be having dreams and shit about big dick. So it's just like, like how big damn. is your man? <laughs> like, not even. You know what? Even, he won't tell not, me. He won't tell me how big he is. I mean, it's not big. It's not big enough. Is he hitting the just... back? Is he hitting the nah, back of your he... pussy? Hell no. Nah. No. Oh. Oh, you need no. him. You need him, bo- I... you need him. You need him to bottom out in that pussy, you know? And I have to do those Kegel exercises while I'm fucking him oh. to make it like. Oh. Don't you feel like you deserve to have a motherfucker hit the back of your pussy? I do, but you just can't go out here fucking everybody. Like, this is true. I ain't Black China, nobody. Sorry. Like, you know, I just can't just settle. Like, oh, let me just get this big, big dick. Like, I don't know. But I do need a big dick. But I'm going to let the white guy probably fuck me. I don't know what the fuck to do. Mm. Haley, what would you do if someone's not? <laughs> Hello. Haley, Quinn, TED Talk, extraordinary. What would you do if someone's not hitting the back of your pussy? <laughs> As a TED Talker extraordinaire who's recently done six months of celibacy, you know what? I think what you need to do here, I think it's, it's this situation is obvious. It's like not happy in the relationship, not satisfied. Step away. Step away. It's not always about, you know, reaching and grabbing for the next best thing. He Walk away so from fine, that, though. I think he just, I think his looks is what's like keeping me. He yeah, a light skin, brother? Mm. Nah, he ain't light skin. He brown. You yeah. know, he look good, good. though. Real go. good. But... Yeah, that dick game like, right, though. Yeah. <laughs> he like Lorenz Tate? No, nah, he look like, uh... Yeah, he do kind of favor Lorenz. Damn, how you good? Yeah. How you know? Oh, <laughs> Freak yourself! <laughs> All right, uh, Haley... This is you probably do a ton of radio shows like this, so we we, we appreciate you coming by and yes, blessing baby. us. <laughs> Thank you. I liked it all apart from that bit. What bit? Yes, the rude bit. I don't know. What bit? The rude bit where you're talking rude about. So I can't even say it because it doesn't even compute in English what are you language. Talking about? You know the bit about what I would do if some guy wasn't bottom out in your vagina. That's the one. You're gonna have to worry about that okay. with us, girl. <laughs> Am I safe here? Yeah, I got. Man. I got. I, I wear a dick extension. Ah. <clears throat> I got on boxes that smell like cake. <laughs> <laughs> It's always food with you. Like yeah, you know, it is. <laughs> show is shit. Hey, hey, no lies here. Where can people follow you and stuff like that? They can find me. I'm HaleyQuinn.com, which is H A Y L E Y Q U I N N. And you got I'm a on, book coming out, right? I do have a book coming out, and I've got two podcasts: Attraction HQ and Love HQ. Really? Yeah, you want to listen to me that way? And I'm Hell on yeah. YouTube. How come I'm not on your podcast? Hey, we didn't ask. I'm okay, you're asking. On. Okay, you me on my podcast then. Done. It's settled. Done. H a y l e y q u i n. Double n. N. Two of those n's. <laughs> Two of those n's. Hello? Never forget the second n. <laughs> Haley Quinn. Thank you. It's All always right. good to have a motherfucking Sexy. TED talker on here. Hello.
Hey, y'all, she, you should just follow her just so you can see she look good. Mm. That's why I've been sexually She got some boobies. Poor woman this whole <laughs> she time. got titties. I don't, she's wearing a jean jacket, but she's curvy than a motherfucker. I am, I'm going to do my, get this, my YouTube video tomorrow. They, I've got a makeup artist coming in. They're going to dress me up like Kim Kardashian to see if that's what oh. guys go for. Damn, really? Touch your ass. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get some like white stretchy something. I'm gonna go buy it in LA. You go fucking do that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You can get a certain kind of man that likes that. You know <laughs> I what know, I mean? I know. A little worried, but it'll be okay. You have fun, Haley Quinn. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. This is the all-out show on Shade 45. 45.